web marketing. I'm one of the Drupal trainers here at New Designs. My role is to teach our clients how to use and edit their Drupal website. This video series is based on Drupal version 7, currently the latest release, as well as a custom installation of add-on Drupal modules here at New Designs. Your own Drupal website may be slightly different, but the concepts are likely the same. So, let's get started. In this video, I'm going to cover how to create a link within a page of a website to another page in your website or to a page outside of your website, to a whole other website itself. So the first thing I like to do is if I'm going to create a link to another page within my website, I, I first want to create that page or go to that page that I'm going to be linking to. In this case, I'm going to grab a services page. And what I'm interested in knowing is what is the actual page name, the URL of that page. And I'm up in the URL bar and I'm seeing here that this services page is called services. And so from after the URL address dot com forward slash, the rest of that I want to highlight and copy. Now I'm ready to create my link and I'm going to go back to this about page and I'm going to select edit just like I was editing the content and I'm going to select a word or a phrase on this page and I'll just randomly grab this word right here or this phrase and I'm going to use the link button right here and I'm going to select that it looks like a world with a link on it and now I've got this box that says link and the first thing it, uh, I'm looking at here is it wants to know what the URL is. I'm going to paste in the page name within my website. This was services. And I need to change the protocol. Um, this is by default set up to link to an outside website and I want to change this to within my own website. And the purpose of doing this is so that when I click on the link I'm not opening up a new window or a new instance of my browser. I'm I'm leaving one page, going to another, staying within that window or browser. So I change the protocol to other. My URL here is services, and I'm going to select OK. If I notice it changes color, and when I hover over it, it's underlined. That's how the theme of this, uh, this particular website uh, has defined links to look like. And I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm going to select save. And at this point, I have saved this page, and I have a link, and you can kind of see it here. Um, there is the link, and if I click on this link, I notice here I'm on the About page. If I click on the link that I created, I moved over to the Services page. Creating interior links in, within your website from page to page is really common, and it's actually a very good to do for search engine placement. So I recommend anytime you're talking about a subject and there's a page that gives more explanation or there might be a product or a service about that, that you would create that link for the user. It's really helpful for usability. Um, I want to do one more type of link before I wrap this topic up. I'm going to go back to the About page. I'm going to go back to the Edit. I'm going to edit and select another word or phrase and I will uh, I'm just basically going to select a larger area. And in this case, I'm going to link to another website. So I've so made my selection. I'm going up here, clicking the link button, and I'm going to type in a URL. Now I'm going to leave the protocol to this HTTP, HTTP slash slash, um, because I want the web browser to open it in a new window. And by default, that's how this website is configured that outside websites open in a new window or a new instance and links to pages within your website if the protocol is changed to other will open up in the same window. So I'm going to type in a domain name. This is our web address, newdesigns.com and I'm going to select OK. You can see here the link is it's another color, it's a light blue, underline when I hover. I'm going to select Save. 
and I publish the page and here is my link and notice now when I select it I go to another website which is ours and it also um, it opened it up in a new tab so then that is it